I want to just cite Tim Cook here. He says, technology should serve humanity, not the other way around. And this is a really important mantra that all engineers and architects or technologists of all shapes and sizes must bear in mind. That ultimately, if you want to design technology, you're not designing technology for androids. You know, you're designing technology for humans. And so you've got to be very mindful of what it is humans want and need from technology. So, I put it to you that this is where the SUTD curriculum and its 22% focus on humanities, arts, and social sciences is a very, very powerful ingredient in your engineering education. Because in the Haas program, we give equal focus to humanities and social sciences. And in your first year, your freshman year, you will actually be taking one mandatory course on world text and interpretations, which focuses on the basic fundamental text from a key text from around the world that have shaped civilization as we know it. And these are important texts that really despite being centuries old, they've played a very important role in terms of shaping how people think about the world in which we live. They play a very important role in terms of influencing our social and cultural norms, as well as our political structures. So this is actually a very critical, eye-opening experience which most of our students truly enjoy. The second core is the Theorizing Society, the Self and Culture elective uh, mandatory course. And this mandatory course focuses on the social sciences. So we introduce to students fundamentals in sociology, economics, psychology, and so on, anthropology so that it gives you a sense of how our society is structured, how our society is organized. And again, it also gives you insights into the different kinds of social, cultural, political, economic aspects that people have to be mindful of when they um, enter the workforce. So our design, technology, and society minor will offer you what we call a design-focused variation of science, technology, and society. And we will be emphasizing a very critical analysis of the social dimensions of design processes and projects. What this means is that when you take this minor, it sensitizes you to your responsibilities as a designer. It also highlights to you how different steps in the design process can actually create different results and how certain ethical principles will come into play when you make a certain design choice. Now, at the same time, we've also got a fascinating course called Rice Cultures, Technology, Society and Environment in Asia, which talks about how, as um, technologists, we've got a certain responsibility, a certain burden in terms of how the things that you do in agriculture and so on can also shape our society. And our students in this class, not only do they learn about the countries that engage in um, rice cultivation, they actually have a first-hand taste of growing rice on the roof of Building 5 here, right here in SUTD. Now, the thing about the Haas minors is that they don't actually expect you to take any additional elective beyond the five additional Haas electives that you have to take. So it works within your Haas curricular structure and it doesn't require additional time. Now, the other minor that we're rolling out is also very exciting. It's called Digital Humanities. And um, I sent out my Digital Humanities minor description to people in the industry from uh, places like the Motion Picture Association, people who are running chatbots, people from Facebook and Google and so on. And they were thrilled that we were introducing this Digital Humanities minor. Because this minor will actually highlight to students how in the processing and visualization and representation of humanities and all kinds of content, textual, visual, oral content, we can actually apply computational skills to analyzing all of these content. So what this means is that when you first learn about the foundations of literary theory, or when you understand what it means to engage in visual representation, you understand these sorts of structures of content. But ultimately, you are able to then marry your understanding of these structures with the computational skills that you're getting from the likes of ESD or ISTD, and then you're able to answer really fascinating questions. Um, I want to end off with another quote by Tim Cook. He says, I don't worry about machines thinking like humans. I worry about people thinking like machines. And that's a really critical point, that whether you're an engineer or an architect, as long as you're a technologist, you're in a position to design things for people, you're in a position to build structures that will shape 
our society, that it's important that you understand the human condition and that it is critical that you don't think like a machine, but that you can empathize with all of the different human factors that come into play when people interact with technology. Thank you.